Hi guys, it's Mrs. Dance here again. I've got your third tutorial now for your portrait piece of work. Okay, so the artist that we are going to look at today is called Mark Powell. He is a London-based artist and he uses lots of things like um, vintage music paper, old envelopes, old handwritten letters. Okay, um, the reason he uses those is because he likes to the um, fact that these old pieces of paper have got a story to them as well okay so as well as having the story of whoever it is that he's drawing you've got this added layer this added depth of the interest of the paper that he has worked on so your first job when i set you off on your work will be to overlay a piece of the vintage paper over one quarter of your drawing okay nice and simple yep yeah, but what that has done yeah we have now covered over the quarter of our drawing that we took our time penciling in so we need to roughly put our outline back in so this artist mark powell he tends to use um black pens just regular black ballpoint pens not the fine liner type or not any felt tips just regular cheap black pens okay so i'm going to sort of take um, some inspiration from the other side of my drawing and from the drawing i've got here so um mark's style i would describe it as um tonal pen drawing okay so um he's quite accurate with his drawing yeah so i'm going to start to rough in i've got this to guide me as well to rough in roughly where that drawing previously was okay so we've got something like this i can see and i can remember also that his ear came up like this i can cross reference it here and i can also check with my drawing here we've also got the hair okay so i can look across at the grids and think about how that hair came across up here at the top as well it came through and i'm just going to roughly put that in with some lines okay lovely i think i'm quite happy with that I think the hairline could maybe come down a shade here it seems a bit high in this corner so i'm just going to bring that curve down a little bit uh, so i am happy with it okay i'm going to think about the placement of that eyebrow yeah so i can just about make out that that eyebrow was around here Ooh, i may have gone a bit high there I'm going to come back down a little bit and a bit of a curve on it and remember this eyebrow was made up of lots of individual marks it is not a solid black slug okay so this is roughly about where the eyebrow was we also have the eye okay so the i'm just going to get that in here it had this sort of a shape yeah okay so now i've got my features roughly drawn on i'm now going to start to build up this drawing okay so i'm going to think about where are those real dark areas first we've got this eyebrow we've got this eye he's got quite a sad looking eye really it's, it's nearly closed yeah we've got the very dark area there of the pupil that's probably one of the darkest points on the whole drawing yeah we've got this iris yeah and remember i'm using lots of different lines and marks to get this on there the eye, just lie lashes they seem to be pointing downwards okay so i'm just going to keep on working through this okay this we've got this lovely really sort of frizzy curly hair on this guy's 
Okay, so I'm going to keep on working through that. Okay, lots of lovely, tight, nice knots. Okay. So you can see now that this is beginning to take shape. What I will also add to this drawing yeah, is some tone to the skin. Okay, because we want to make sure that we are not just leaving the skin tone the same as the colour of the paper. Okay, so I'm just very lightly here using the side of the pen. Yeah, instead of going on full on hard like this, I'm just going in like this. And I'm just going to add a little layer of tone. Okay. I'm going to keep on adding that in. Yeah, I've also got this nose area here. Yeah, there is probably a little bit of a shadow going on there. There's probably some shadow going on underneath the eye. So I'm just going to keep working like this. Okay. In areas where I think it's going to be darker, I can go over in another direction and add some crosshatch to those areas. Okay. And what I'll do, I'll just keep having a look, stepping back a little bit from my drawing, taking another look at it. I might even hold it up and have a look and think about where do I need to improve okay guys so this is what you're going to be doing today I'm going to leave you now I'm going to carry on working so you can watch me if you want to but I'm going to stop talking from now